At Eddy Pump, we pump solids, not water. How to choose a dredge pump. Dredge pumps come in various types and sizes for different applications. Eddy Pump offers pumps and dredge equipment with our patented Tornado Motion Pump technology. From submersible self-priming, cable deployed, and excavator pump attachments to pontoon dredges, process and diver operated pumps, we have plenty of choices. But how do you choose what is best for your application, the correct size and type? Choosing the right dredge or slurry pump requires precise calculations and analysis of the application. The first step is figuring out the type of pump setup. For example, if the pump is in liquid, you will need a submersible pump. If you need to draw the liquid to the pump, this is self-priming. And if the liquid is already at the pump, that is a flooded suction. To find what type of material the pump should be made of, you need to look at the abrasiveness and pH level of the material and fluid. Is it abrasive? Then a high chrome pump. What is the pH level? pH is the corrosion or acidity of the liquid. The pump may need to be stainless steel. Now let's calculate the head. The total dynamic head is determined by the fluid's temperature, density, specific gravity, viscosity, vapor pressure, and speed it must travel to continue suspension in the pipe. It also considers the pipe's diameter, vertical and horizontal distances, and other friction loss variables. The gallon per minute, or GPM, is the amount of fluid traveling through the pipe. This is calculated using the inner diameter of the line or the amount of material that needs to be moved in a given time frame. This is the minimum flow rate. Once the flow and head are determined, along with the size of the solids, you now have the requirements for the pump. Our unique technology gives us an extraordinary capability to efficiently handle materials with enormous volumes in harsh conditions. But it is essential to understand that the higher the flow rate, the higher the wear and tear, reducing the pump's lifespan. So, for uninterrupted performance and extended lifetime, the pump flow rate should be at optimal flow.